herewith when we see the properties of receptor and tries to enumerate the first important property of receptor this produces generator potential and not action potential second important property specificity third is graded response fourth is perception and discrimination of the intensity fifth is muller's law of specific nerve ending sixth property is law of projection seventh is adaptation eight is spatial and temporal summation these are the basic properties of receptors when we see the first that is generator potential the receptor generate are acts as a generator potential when we see the specificity they have this basic property that means they require adequate stimulus that is low threshold for specific type of stimulus these are not absolute but are relative these are visual receptors when we see the perception depend on or upon the type of adequate stimulus for receptor involved intensity detection by changes in the frequency of action potential and number of receptors activated they detect intensity detection now when we see this intensity discrimination there are seen two types of receptor linear sensory receptor and logarithmic sensory receptors this can be explained on the basis of weber peters law this is a weber species law according to this law the response is directly proportional to its log s that means the strength of stimulus according to this weber peters law the response is directly proportional to the log of strength of the stimulus that means s yes. that means r is directly proportional to the log s and intensity description is there are two types of receptors are located either linear sensory receptors and logarithmic sensory receptors in linear sensory receptor r is directly proportional to the s but in logarithmic sensory receptor r is directly proportional to the log of s this is the basic difference between their activity at linear sensory receptor and logarithmic sensory receptors this figure shows the stimuli or strength first linear sensory receptor and second group showing logarithmic sensory receptors the relationship is better expressed as power function that means r is directly proportional to k s upon a where k is k equal to minimum change in stimulus to the initial strength of stimulus the next property is muller's law of specific nerve ending the type of sensation felt depends upon the type of receptor and stimulus energy when we see the law of projection when we see this law of projection the sensation is located at the site where the receptor is located even when stimulus is applied to any other or stimulus is applied at any point on sensory pathway this is law of projection law of projection is an important property of this sensory receptor the sensation is located at the site where the receptor is located even when the stimulus is applied at any point on sensory pathway and muller's law of specific nerve energy the type of sensation felt depends upon the type of receptor and stimulus energy this figure shows us spatial and temporal summation that means the summation of the stimuli applied simultaneously on the receptor or of stimuli applied repeatedly at same time this is spatial or temporal summation the decline in responsiveness on prolonged stimulus or stimulation is observed when see there are two types of receptor fast adapting and slow adapting depending on this basis either these are phasic or tonic this is their property that is adaptation when see the sensory unit the single sensory fiber with all its terminal branches is known as sensory unit the single sensory fiber with all its terminal branches and receptors is known as sensory unit sensory field and receptive field unit the area of the skin stimulation of which produces response in sensory unit is sensory field while the size of receptive field varies inversely with 
डेंसिटी ऑफ रिसेप्टर्स एंड फॉर्म्स द बेसिस ऑफ टू पॉइंट ऑफ डिस्क्रिमिनेशन दैट मीन्स स्टिम्युलेशन ऑफ टू रिसेप्टिव फील्ड्स और स्टिम्युलेशन ऑफ वन रिसेप्टिव फील्ड दैट इज सिंगल पॉइंट डिस्क्रिप्शन और टू पॉइंट डिस्क्रिप्शन दिस विल बी सी डिटेल इन आवर डायरेक्टिक सेक्शन मीन्स इज द कंपेरिजन बिटवीन जनरेटर पोटेंशियल एंड एक्शन पोटेंशियल दैट मीन्स वी डिस्कस डटम आर लियर जी पी एंड ए पी वॉट इज एक्जैक्टली द बेसिक डिफरेंस बिटवीन जी पी एंड ए पी दैट इज जनरेटर पोटेंशियल एंड एक्शन पोटेंशियल द जनरेटर पोटेंशियल इज अ लोकलाइज एक्शन पोटेंशियल इज प्रोपेगेटेड जनरेटिंग पोटेंशियल मैग्नीट्यूड डिक्रीजेस विथ टाइम एंड स्पेस वाइल इन एक्शन पोटेंशियल मैग्नीट्यूड रिमेन्स सेम जनरेटर पोटेंशियल इज अ ग्रेडेड रिस्पॉन्स हियर इट इज इन अ ऑल और नन द जनरेटर पोटेंशियल लास्ट फॉर वन टू टू मिली सेकंड वाइल एक्शन पोटेंशियल लास्ट फॉर पॉइंट वन टू पॉइंट टू मिली सेकंडस इन जनरेटर पोटेंशियल नो रिफ्रैक्टरी पीरियड वाइल इन एक्शन पोटेंशियल रिफ्रैक्टरी पीरियड इज प्रेजेंट जनरेटर पोटेंशियल it is summation is possible while no summation is possible in action potential this is the basic difference between the generator and action potential